hello developers welcome to my new tutorial in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create a video conference app with flutter and agora for that i did removed all the code from our main dot dot and i did added here one package called agora rtc engine that can be found here in that the pop dot dev and this is this is a package by the agora officially and you need to copy this line only and just paste it here and that press the pub get button and now we need to go to that agora agora.com and here you need to sign up after the sign up we need to create a project and in order to create the project click just click on this button and here you need to input the name and the use case that can be anything if you are using for educational purpose then click here education and is social and then social and anything it can be anything according to your need and this is this is our authentication mechanism here if you are using only for testing purpose then click on testing mode and if you, you are building that the productive app then click that secure mode and you can now submit here in my case i did created a project before so that i can go for configuration after 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 creating the project you can also go for configuration and after clicking the configuration you can see this kind of interface here this is app id app certification and our project status now we need to go to our main dot dot here and here we have to add some codes for that we go to the agora rtc engine package and in the in in example section copy all the codes from here and paste it to your main dot dot like this way and now here this that the permission handler is only available for windows and android and ios that means the mobiles and windows here you can see that the platforms are only android ios and windows so that we cannot use it for web for web so in order to get permission in web we should to go here and copy this lines just copy this line and paste it here remove this lines of codes paste it here and close it and import the package called dot html and make sure to ignore that annotation in this way you can ignore it and now everything is fine now we need to put some requirements like app id token and channels go to the agora and here you can find the app id copy this line and paste it here like this way and token is not required as i mentioned I, I i as i told you before that this is only for testing purpose so it is not required and the channel channel will be the name of your your room it can be anything i for my case i am using that test and last thing we need to go downside and remove this this one token and put only that inverted commas and now everything is fine we are good to go i think we should do launch it and test it for testing just click on run button this will take a couple of minute only like in like this way it will be launched and it is asking for the permissions we need to allow it allowed and now you can see this is my camera and this is this is space is for the remote user which will join your meeting or join your room and their camera will be shown here and after hosting it you can test it properly and for now you can test it 
like by the way again clicking on this run button here you can see i am closing it uh, that was making too much noise so the, i did close that and when you join from two different devices it will work so fine so for in this video we learn how to that integrate agora in the next videos we will learn how to pause our camera microphones and etc and we will try to connect it from web and into and from android app directly so for now i think this is enough and thank you for watching my videos and if you like like the video then please like comment and share it to your friends and if you feel this is helpful please sub subscribe to our channel thank you